Hey everyone, um, so sorry we haven't made a video in, uh, well, actually I haven't made a video, um, Irma's back. We filmed a video, um, like two weeks ago and it kind of got, like, deleted yeah. somehow, so we couldn't get that up and stuff, so that sucks, but we're making a favorites because it's the end of the month and there's some great things we've been trying, or at least I've been trying, I don't know about you, Girl. which is probably this, um, face scrub. Um, clean and clear, morning burst. This is really good stuff. Um, well, what do I like about it? It just makes my face feel more invigorating and radiant. I guess I don't know. It's pretty good. I feel I feel like it gets the job done, and yeah, I don't know. I like it. There's nothing much else to say about it, but it's a good face scrub. I recommend it if you are looking for face scrubs. I guess I'll start off with this, which is what I'm wearing. Um, it's the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm, and I really can't find these in, like, any stores. They're always either, like, used, like, people literally will take them and, like, wear them, which is so not cool. Why don't do that. Don't do, do that, that in a store. Like, why are you doing that if you're not going to buy it? Especially if it's sealed and you take and the seal off to do it. pretty disgusting. To yeah, so I went to, what, was it Walgreens we went to? Target? I went to Walgreens. And yeah. I was like, oh, do you guys have it? I don't see it anywhere. And they and the girl showed me where they had them. And they were, like, up on top of a shelf. So, like, nobody had touched them, which was amazing. So, um, this one was brand new. Thank God it wasn't touched. And I got it in the color Sultry, I believe. And I'm wearing it right now. Um, it looks kind of red on the camera, but it's... Mm, I don't, is it it's more like a mauve color. It, yeah, it's kind of like a mauve. So, this is... um kind of a natural looking color it's like super cute and it has a little twisting i didn't realize that till like last night oh yeah a little bit my nails are more peach um but yeah i'm literally obsessed with this i've been wearing this every day it is matte but it's not drying and it's like amazing and i want all the no, colors i kind of want to get one I you should get one. um non-beauty makeup oh my gosh i freaking love this i haven't even worn that much because i just got it for christmas and it's this aerial perfume and there's Ariel. You can kind of see her. Maybe if I just put my hand in the back. There you go. Um, from Hot Topic. And it comes with this cute chain. Like, what do you call it? Locket. I don't know. It's not a locket because it's not one that closes. But it has a pearl in it. Let's see. I'm trying to... There we go. That it focuses. Yeah. So, yeah. And it smells so good. It smells like a beachy... Um, what do you call it? Oceany... Breeze. It's, it's like a hand drawn, yeah. sketched out aerial sea splash. That's what it says. And it has like this, yeah, I don't know. It's cute and it smells really good. You can get it at Hot Topic. Huh? So, my next favorite will, I guess, be on the same um, page as hers, which is Ariel. Classic Ariel, might I add. Um, it's these mini ears from this Etsy store called House of Mouse. 13, I think. I'll um, link her Etsy below. First of all, you should just check her Etsy yeah. out. She has the cutest ears in the universe. And, it's and they're all handmade. Different. They're yeah. all handmade by this one girl. She's amazing. So I got the Ariel ones. And they're just like glittery. And they have Ariel on both sides. And it has a little like bow. So, um, and then on the back, it's got shimmery sequins. You can't even tell. Oh, you can sort of tell. It's like shimmer sequins. So it's basically the cutest thing in the world. I would put them on, but I have a hat on already. I got these on Black Friday. I can't remember how much. I think it came out to like $21 plus the shipping. <coughs> but they're like $23, I think, regularly without the shipping. So I got it for a good deal. But um, check your Etsy out because they are freaking amazing. Um, I really like this primer from Mark. Um... It's called Prime for Perfection. Mark is by Avon. And yeah, it's really good. I feel like it um, doesn't make my face oily and it like just gets a smooth surface and it's so like so I don't know. It's just so much better than I feel like the drugstore brand. And this was like how much would you say? Wait, what did you say? How much do you think this is? I forgot. Oh. Probably like $15. Fifteen dollars, but I have had this for like almost a year and it's still going. I feel like, I mean, it's worth the money. It's worth the $15. And so, okay, this, when I bought this, and okay, so first of all, it's the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation and um, it has SPF 18. And the thing is, I bought the same brand in Australia, 
the thing is, I don't like their pricing. I feel like it's such a ripoff. It totally it's is. It's such a ripoff because this same brand here, it's $5. I got this for $5 here in the States. But in Australia, it was 15 but I got it for 12 because it was like on, on sale or something That's like that. That's freaking crazy. Yeah. And so for a foundation that like this, I can get in the States for like way cheaper and still get like amazing coverage and stuff is great but I just realized like how much of a ripoff that is in Australia though their minimum wage in Australia is pretty good I'm not yeah, gonna lie that, it's a lot about different. that because it just makes sense you know you need to balance everything out but yeah so anyway I really like this foundation I love the coverage five dollars oh, is not that bad for the coverage and it's buildable um, it doesn't get oily, like, right away. Um, my face starts to get oily, like, maybe eight hours in, so that's not bad, but still, this is really good. Um, I'm in the shade Light Nude. Um, I also like, um, this mask. It's my sister's Tatiana right here, and it's, <laughs> um, me. by Shea Moisture. It's Shea Moisture African Black Soap Cream Mask. Um, yeah, this is pretty good, though. The thing is, it. same reason why she doesn't use it and doesn't like it is because of the smell it smells like play-doh like straight, straight up play-doh Play like it's i only leave it on for five to ten minutes like it says but mostly five minutes because i still can't handle the smell um but it leaves my skin feeling really, really cleansed and it doesn't dry up it like it even tells you it doesn't dry up so you have to wash it off when it's wet yeah um i don't know how much this is Tatiana has had it for a while but she got this at target right something like that it came in a yeah. set um yeah it's, it's pretty good i can't complain but just the smell. It smells disgusting. So next favorite is another lip product that is literally amazeballs. Lime Crime. If you've heard of Lime Crime, you know they're amazing. They have the cutest packaging, um, and they're pretty amazing, uh, despite all the rumors that have gone around about that uh, brand or whatever. But they are amazing in their lip products. So good. These lipsticks called um, Velveteens. And mine is in red velvet. They just came out with a new one called pink velvet. I didn't want it because I'm more of a red gal. Look at the cute little unicorns on the top. Precious. They used to have a different packaging. What what do hands have to do with focusing? I don't know. People do that just to make it focus. I don't get it. Their old packaging was a lot cuter, but they put roses on them now. And basically, it goes on like a liquid. Like, it feels like you're putting, like, liquid water almost except it doesn't drip but it, it's liquid on your lips and it just dries in an instant and it stays and it's matte and it's so pigmented like so freaking you just need to swatch a, like swipe a little bit on your lips and it's like it stays Damn. forever um i got this for 14 dollars because i got it on black friday and um they are so terrible at black friday stuff i could go on about this like two years ago i tried getting stuff off their website for black friday and it just kept crashing and crashing and you would think since they hype that. up they hype up these products so much, but then the day that they are supposed to have their Black Friday sales, they just, like, the website crashes because yeah. they don't have enough, like, their server is really shitty and stuff. I don't suggest buying anything on Black Friday, but I did, so I got it for $14 because of all the hassle that was going on, so they were, like, lowering the prices. But they're originally $20, which is a little too expensive. I don't think I'm going to buy it for $20. Maybe I'll wait till next Black, Black Friday? <laughs> Black Friday. Your turn. Speaking of Lime Crime... Um, yeah, I got their lipstick, and it's in, what shade is this? Coquette? I don't know if you can see that. I'm not even gonna try. But it's just like a super nude color, and it's even more pale than my skin, so I feel like a ghost when I wipe, but I still like it because I can blend it in with a different color. Um, but it smells amazing. I really like the smell. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I like the texture. It's not, um... <laughs> I don't know. It just lasts longer, and it's not. It's really soft. Is their packaging not the cutest thing? Um, yeah, and it's. I don't know. I just really like the color and the pigmentation, and it's yeah, packaging. How? What, what didn't you like about it? You know, it's. Just, I got it for her actually. She did. She's, She's such so a nice sweet. sister. And so another thing I like. Um, I don't know if we have this in the states. I got it again in Australia. I'm sorry if you're getting sick of me repeating that, but um, yeah, it's called Nutrimedics. Nutrim. Nutrimedics. I would kind of compare them to Clinique. I don't know, but they're way cheaper than Clinique, and it's just a fine milk base powder. Um, so yeah, I like that it just lasts on my skin a long time, and it doesn't get too oily or too cakey. <coughs> it sits on my skin really nicely, so I feel like my skin can breathe. If you know any more about them, if you're from Australia, if you know more about them, let me know because I really like them. I've had this nice for I mean, such a long time. I think I've had this for like since 
May. And I don't know if you can tell, but maybe if I do it like this, no. I don't know, if I try to see it, like, that's how much I have left, and it was way up there, so it was, like, even to the top of this, even when it closed, so little goes a long way, but it's really good. Okay, so for my next favorite, uh, we turned the light on, just so you know, because the light like it's was, a little weird, though. It's a little, oh. it just washes me out a little bit. Katy Perry Killer Queen! Oh my freaking gosh. This is my favorite scent. <coughs> um, I wanted this for so long, um, and I got it for Christmas. But I did get the sample before it came out. Like, there was a way you can email and they'll send you a sample. So I used the sample and I wore it a little bit and I just fell in love with it. And so my mom got me the whole set for Christmas. I was so happy because yeah. I just ran out of both Purr and Meow. Those I only use Katy Perry perfumes. And so I didn't have any perfume, so I was wearing I feel like nothing. it's a jewel. Like, I found this in the it's cave so, of danger like, or something. It's so classy. I just, yeah. it's like the cutest thing. So my mom got me um, the set and it came with, it was only 64 bucks for the whole set. This is $60 alone. Like, that's amazing. It came with body lotion, body wash, a little mini version of this. Yeah. It's the exact same thing, but a mini version. It's so cute. <laughs> and then the full size. This is the biggest size, I think. It's a... A 3.4 fluid ounce. So, and I just love the packaging. If you could see on here, you can't really tell, but there are two cats facing away from each other. And I'm pretty sure they represent Meow and Purr. Um, and it's just so cute. It's amazing. It's like, it's like Meow. Wait, which one's Meow? Meow is a pink one. Meow is like really sweet. And then Purr is more of like a, like floral-ish smell. And this one together is like sweet and floral <laughs> i love it this is yeah. like my absolute favorite it's amazing um okay so garnier is on their game like seriously Shoot, garnier girl. is on their game and i have the um garnier pure active to tinted spot roll on the thing is though i use this concealer instead of a spot treatment like i also put on my blemishes and stuff but as a concealer it is freaking amazing like oh my gosh i don't know maybe if i just do like an example yeah, I don't know. It's just amazing. Like, it blends out really nice. And, like, I don't know. I just love how it just covers mm. my blemishes and my dark circles at the same time. And it just makes me look more awake, you know? Um, my next favorites are shoes because I love shoes. Um, so the first pair of shoes I'm literally obsessed with because I've been wanting a pair of shoes like these for a while. And they're just basic flats. But they have um, ties like around ankle straps. the ankle straps. They're not like Mary Jane shoes because I'm pretty sure Mary Jane, they go like around here, but these go around the ankle like this, but I just think they're so cute and I got them from uh, Wet Seal and then these shoes, which I just got at Forever 21. I have to move away. I'm like, hello. <laughs> huge. Um, as you can tell, they're just like Doc Martens. They don't have the tags like my Target ones because everyone always gets them confused with Doc Martens, but I'm like, no, Doc Martens have yellow tags. Just remember that. If you think somebody's wearing Doc Martens, unless they have yellow tags on the back, they probably aren't. Mm -hmm. um, so these were at Forever 21, and it was, like, I literally was wearing boots, and they ripped, like, while I was in the store, they ripped all the way in half, and I felt, like, it felt weird. So I was like, frick, I need shoes. And then I walk <laughs> over to the shoes, and it's like, 50% off all boots. And I was like... <laughs> so I got these for, like, 20 bucks. 20 bucks and 6 cents, or something like that. Um, so I was really stoked about that, and the only thing that bugs me is this freaking, you know the tongue part? It doesn't stay straight. You can't yeah, tell, but it goes to the that. side, and you could, it could see your, show your socks, which bugs the frick out of me. Okay, so yeah. two more things. You might have remembered this in my the last videos that I was in. I don't know. I don't know. I know, like, it's a, it's a love or hate thing, but I freaking love this mascara. Um, I like it. I don't have it on right now. I can't even tell, so it doesn't even matter, but... This is one of my favorite mascaras, and I'm, I don't know if they still sell them. I don't know if it's discontinued, so. but sure. this is a really good mascara, and Maybelline needs to go back to... Yeah, even with the Dream Mousse stuff. That was Maybelline, right? Mm, yes. Yeah, and then my Naked 2 palette. I just started using this. I Since I first got it, I didn't really use it that much, but now I'm really like starting to like it. She left it here, and I started using it. Yeah. I really like Tease. And, um, what's that one? Busted. So, Busted is this one, and then Tease is that one. I want the Naked 3 so bad. No, this is Busted, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. 
a non-beauty favorite. They're just these Milano, whatever they call them, yeah. dark chocolate. I only love dark chocolate. I mean, I do have milk chocolate, but I'm like a big dark chocolate fan. And they're so freaking bomb. We already ate, ate a whole pack, just me and Emma yeah, uh, ourselves. Too. So we should do favorite songs because there are a lot of good songs that are out. So do uh, you got any favorites? We both love Elastic Heart by Sia because I got the Hunger Games soundtrack, the Catching Fire. It's so good. Oh my god, it's almost it's amazing. I think I like it better than the, the first, first, one. first one. Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, so Elastic Heart, that's so good. That's Shooting far. arrows at the sky. Mm -hmm. I love At Last by Coldplay. Oh my god. Who we are. Yeah, who we are by Imagine Dragons. I love Imagine Dragons so much. I want to see them in concert. They're coming to San Diego, but I bet it's sold out and I'm really sad. I'm like literally obsessed with the song Why'd You Only Call Me When You're High by Arctic Monkeys. And like, I kind of really like them now. Like, I've been listening to their music and I've like never heard them. I mean, I knew about them before, but I never heard them. And like now, like, they're great. Sweather weather? No. Sweather weather? <laughs> the neighborhood's all right. That song's all right. Everyone's like, hashtag sweater weather. And I'm like, stop. Of course it's sweater weather. What are you going to wear, a tank top in summer? I mean, in winter? <laughs> Only I do. So anyway. Um, any more favorite songs? No. Uh, I love Miley Cyrus' album. Oh, what? Nuclear Season by Charlie XCX. Oh my god, that song is yes. my jam and yes, right now. Not Yes by Gold Panda, but yes. Ha ha ha. Oh no, you. Yeah, ha ha. You ha ha by, um... The song is called You, Ha Ha Ha, yeah. by Charlie XCX. Yeah. So, um, so I, I saw her live, but it was the worst experience of my life. <laughs> We're not Shrine Expo, you freaking suck. So, that's it. That has been a video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll if, be in a, maybe a couple more before I go back I to I know, she's already Man. leaving in a month. <laughs> no. I've been here a month, almost a month. I'm gonna cry. And we don't want to go there. Um. So yes, yeah, subscribe if you're not. Um. Sorry if we're annoying. I'm just <laughs> who we are. Who it's who we are. are. <laughs> anyway, subscribe. Um. Links below. We've got some links down below. Yes. We Check do. them out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, oh, cookies. No! <laughs> My brain is the exact same. The struggle. The struggle is real.